Welcome back in. Well, you want to make sure you're awake for this next segment because we're talking mattresses and sleep. And I'm sure some of you just thought to yourself, hey, it's about time I get a new mattress. So let's take it to the experts when it comes to picking out the perfect place to rest. Dr. Justin Thomas, director of the UAB Behavioral Sleep Medicine Program, joins us now with the expert info. We thought this is a fun topic because, you know, you hear about President's Day and you think, mattress sales. Yep. So it's a good time this week to maybe reevaluate what you should look for in your mattress. Do you have some tangible things people can kind of take away from this and go out and find their best sleep ever? Yeah, I, I think uh, you have to try mattresses. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, I wouldn't recommend just buying into a mattress and, and not laying on them and trying them because everybody's different. Uh, you know, some people prefer soft, some people prefer firm, so you have to try them out. When you're going into a mattress store and you're trying out the mattress, mm -hmm. how long should you just lay there to get a feel? I mean, do you want to lay on your side, your back, you know, your other side? Like, because sometimes you feel kind of awkward. Right. You kind of lay down there and you're like, oh, it feels great. <laughs> yeah, well, they want to sell the mattresses, so they, they tend to allow you to lie there as, as long as you, you want to. But I, I agree. I think, you know, 10, 15 minutes is not unreasonable to, like, try different positions and, and, and lay there for a bit to make sure you like it. And if you have certain issues, you know, like sleep apnea or you just have back pain, mm -hmm. what type of mattresses kind of respectively go with those conditions typically? Yeah. So I think uh, a, a more firm or medium to firm mattress is good if you have back pain. But if you have something like acid reflux or sleep apnea, it's not so much of the mattress itself, but it's being able to elevate the head of the bed a little bit because that can actually make the reflux not as bad and, and decrease apnea severity. I feel like in the last, you know, two decades, maybe there's just been this craze around the memory foam, mm -hmm. the Tempur-Pedic and just things that are super, super soft. Yep. Could your mattress be too soft? It can be. Uh, if you've got back pain, it, it could make it worse. And then just again, personal preference. There are some people just feel like they sleep better on a firm mattress and it could be too soft. We always say, you know, you hear you should change your mattress, let's say every eight years or something. Mm -hmm. And I feel like people normally don't do that. I mean, it's kind of one hard to keep up with it. It's not yeah. on your important dates on your fridge or anything when you right. got your mattress. But, but truly, how can you tell that your mattress is no longer serving you? I think definitely like some mattresses will develop a little bit of a sag in the middle or parts of it. Um, and, and that's a telltale sign. Um, and just if you feel like you're not as comfortable on it anymore, you know, it's kind of hard to gauge whether the mattress is too old or not, but if you don't feel comfortable, that's a pretty good sign you may need a new one. And we threw things on you with the sleepy time mocktail, and I'm going to kind of throw this on you, but you're yeah. the sleep expert. Is it helpful to be cooler when you're sleeping? Have cooler sheets, drop your thermostat down. I mean, is that true? Yeah, so there's a sweet spot in temperature. So okay. you don't want it too warm, but you don't want it too cold either. So I think the extremes aren't real helpful, but cooler tends to be a little bit better. And why is that? Um, it, it, the way our brain works in sleep and circadian rhythms without going into too much detail, our temperature drops over the course of the night. Um, we do research studies where we measure people's core body temperature and it drops and reaches the lowest temperature a couple hours before you wake up. So therefore having a little bit cooler um, environment can kind of give your brain that signal that it's sleep time. Nice. Well, yep. thank you so much. This is so helpful. Mm -hmm. Guys, sales are still going on across the board. So thank you so much, Dr. Thomas. My pleasure. Hopefully people can take this and, you know, go splurge on a new mattress on this President's Day week.